Hello, my name is Rob, and the purpose of this video is to help improve the communication between you and your math professor. I have students who email me questions uh, regarding their homework off of My Math Lab or WebAssign, and you can see it's quite lengthy, it's cumbersome for students to type in, and I'd like to try to help improve uh, the way that we can communicate back and forth so I can see more of your work and help you better. So the easiest way to do it is if, they're, if you're working on a worksheet, I would pull out your cell phone, do as much work as possible from on the worksheet as possible. So maybe you know how to plug in the g at x function, but you're not sure what to do after that step, which would be go to the f function and plug in the g function. Maybe you'd forget the minus 3, but the important thing is, is that you're showing me the work take a picture of this, email it to me, and then we can have email conversations with regards to at least some of the work that I've shown you. Um, and that will prevent you from typing out uh, difficult problems like this. Um, if you're working off of a computer, you can actually download, um, actually it's already on your computers, it's called uh, Snippet Tools. And if you go to your search menu, you can just type in uh, SNP, and snipping tools will show up. Just drag that down to your toolbar, and once you open the snipping tool, it will look like this. Um, and you can just take a picture of your question and begin to write Maybe you know the distance formula is the square root of x minus x quantity squared plus y minus y quantity squared. So just use your mouse and begin to write down what you know. And that way, again, here's the x and a y, here's an x and a y. So I can see that at least you know how to plug in 5 minus a negative 2. And the y values is negative 7 minus 3 quantity squared. So at least we can begin the discussion where, again, I can see some of your work and maybe you can kind of just say, well, I'm not sure what to do after that. Then what you do is you go to your email, open up a new email, and hit control paste, which is control V on most PCs. I'm not a Mac person, so you'll have to look up how to paste um, on a Mac. I do know that the Mac does do screenshots, and it's Command-Shift-4. Um, you can just Google um, how to take a screenshot on your Mac, and you'll get these directions on a web page. If you're within your homework, and maybe you know how to do Part A but not Part B, um, you can actually take pictures and dump the pictures into a Word document. So I'll bring up my snipping tool, and all I have to do is press New. Uh, for a new snippet tool. So I'll, I'll snip the question and I'll go to a Word document and hit Control V, which pastes that clip. And then um, once I have this um, snip, snipping tool again, all I have to do is press New again. But don't press New until you're down and you can see. Suppose it's that second part. Um, that you would like to take a picture of. So I'll press new and immediately you can see my screen kind of changes colors and I highlight what I'd like to take. I'll go back to my Word document and I'll paste the second part of the question and then I can begin um, or, or no, before I could, so I, before I can write on this I'll have to for the third time choose my snippet tools, choose new and then I'll connect all of this together, take a picture of this, and now finally I can start writing. I can change the color of my pens um, if, if you prefer. So again, the distance formula, maybe you, you can write down the distance formula is the square root of x minus x quantity squared plus y minus y. It's hard to write with a mouse, but you'll get used to it. And again, you can begin. Here's your X, here's your Y, here's your X, here's your Y. And you can start plugging in at least what you know. Um, and 
and then you'll shoot an email to me, I'll do the same thing, and then I'll shoot an email back to you. So we'll continue working the problem out together this way. The nice part is, is you don't need to take a picture of this screen right here. Whatever I write in Snipping Tools uh, will continue uh, to go to my clipboard so that when I go back to my email, uh, to email myself, um, I can, well, I'll just add this um, to my next. You can see that just stacked the two, um, and I, I can continue emailing back and forth and using my snippet tool. If, I, if, uh, if I'm within the email and I'd like to take a picture of the email that I responded to, you do the same thing. You just take a picture of it, and now you start writing what you know. So this is um, more added to the email, and we just keep adding more, and then you'll go to the email that I send to you, and, and then again, control paste. And you can see I've added a little bit more, and we'll just continue having that discussion. I hope you found this video helpful, and I look forward to uh, continued better communication between um, uh, professor and student so that I can help you better. Good luck.